everybody welcome back to another episode of atlas survival today we return boys and girls ladies and gentlemen merry christmas to all of y'all who are celebrating it wishing y'all nothing but the happiest of days and even to those of you that are not celebrating it still wishing y'all as fan freaking fantastic of a day as possible but today we returned last we left off we had just kind of beached ourselves right by the shore of this island i've kind of done a little bit of scouting inland and uh well it is filled to the brim with dangerous animals so i think it is prime time that we actually invest dude i don't know last time i saw a bear they were friendly over on the home island i don't know if that's gonna keep happening on this island i feel like a bear shouldn't be friendly but we do have the bow skill at our disposal now along with a plethora of these arrows so i thought this would be some very valuable tools we could go ahead and collect for ourselves and utilize while trying to survive all of this shenanigans and i could craft up about let's go with like 30 stone arrows that should be enough to hopefully get us through a good amount here, but uh, exciting times because this is our very first arrow. Bow and arrow, I should say, that we have. And why is that the only slot I could put it in? Hello? Can I not put it in? Do I need to put it in slot three? I am so bamboozled right now. What? <laughs> uh, okay, I guess slot three needs to be the bow and arrow. What's going on? Why is slot... What? What is going on? Yeah, guys, I, I am really confused as to why we can literally only have one weapon equipped at a time. That is really weird. Like, we can put everything else in any slot, but I guess number three is the designated weapon slot, so I wasn't completely aware of that. You know, Oh, you know what it might be? I think the way that I'm seeing it here is the first three slots, at least from what we're seeing on our person, kind of denote the three different areas. You could store stuff. You could store on your back. Stop moving me, pig. You could store on the sides. And uh, yeah, so I suppose that the spears are a little bit too big to fit on the sides. So in that context, I guess that does make sense, but definitely a little bit bamboozling. And okay, here's the moment of truth. Is the bear going to attack us? Hello, Mr. Bear. Usually an aggressive animal will attack if you get r even reasonably close to it. So, so far, I must say, the bear looks like he's still a cool dude. So thank you, bear, for being a cool guy, McGee. I don't know if the rest of what this island has to offer, though, will follow suit. But hopefully you guys are having an absolutely fan for fantastic day of the most amazing variety. And today's game plan is, I think, I don't know if I want to settle down on this island because I was doing a little bit of scouting here, right? I'll try to showcase what I have learned. And it appears that this island's been settled by a couple of people already. So what I'm thinking I might try to do on this island is maybe just make it a pit stop for ourselves while we try and gather and work our way up to something pretty dope over here. And I want to try and get this smitty built up. Now that's going to require mainly it's the metal that we're short on. Everything else should be pretty easy to come across. We need like 18 more metal. So I think that's what we're going to be trying to work our way towards. While also whoop, 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 whoop. Watching out for these dudes over here. Hello, Mr. Wolf. How do you do? Oh, there we go, baby. There we go. This thing is hello. Oh, it's healing as it eats. God dang it. Okay, well, the good news is it's eating a lot of stuff over there, actually. So do I can I'm not going to continue wasting my arrows. I'm just going to run over this way before that wolf decides to run over this way, which should be any moment now. Oh, no, 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 no. But I want to show you guys. Oh, no, 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 no. I do not want to show you guys this. Okay, hello, wolf. How do you do? I got to kill you before you get over here on land. Are you going to start regenerating health too? Okay, there we go. I'm getting some bit, dude. Headshots are heavy hitters on these wolves. Oh, there we go. Big hit on the wolf. Big hit on the wolf. Let's get a bigger hit over here on this one. Yeah, you guys just got to aim for the head. You got to aim for that kill shot. Woo! Hold on. We're getting some big hits over there. Let's try and, dude, honestly, like going into the water, pretty decent strategy because they are very slow in the water, but uh, you can still draw your bow and arrow and attack. And this is going to be good. This is why I was saying the bow and arrow is going to be a game changer, man. Because it is. And bless up for that. So let's go and collect ourselves a little bit of pelts. Get our stone arrows back. Get some meat. And hello, our hatchet bro. Let's just uh, pedal some water over here quickly. And then I'm going on the hunt for that last wolf over there. Oh, no, no, no. You are not going to escape me, comrade. Well, actually, first, I want to go back and uh, get the uh, other wolf that we killed. But this is why I was saying... The bow and arrow was a much needed upgrade for us because it is a deadly weapon when used properly and headshots on animals, as you guys firsthand just saw, are a lot better than just attempting to stab them a lot. And god dang it, chicken. Oh my god, man, that chicken accidentally drowned itself. You freaking dingus. <laughs> Woo! Snake! Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! What is going on? I hear it. 
I don't see it. I'm just very scared because like I actually saw an alpha rattlesnake earlier. And let me just say an alpha rattlesnake is probably not going to be very good. Oh, there you are. Hello, snakey snake. Oh, hello. Can I get a headshot on you? Uh, that's right in your face. Do you not do you not happen to care that there's an arrow in your face? There we go. He happened to care that time. I still got to be careful. There is a wolf over on this side of the island. But bless up, man. This bow and arrow has been a game changer. I think there's even certain skills and whatnot we could learn. But, I mean, the ability to kill pretty much deadly animals like this, too. Our experience should be skyrocketing up. It will be a great way of gaining levels and becoming more powerful, learning more skills. And ultimately, the big ticket goal for now, I want to be able to craft up the next tier of, uh, whatchamacallit, ship, boat. That's kind of the big ticket item that we're going for, at least I think so. But uh, as we do that, if you guys are enjoying the video, make sure to hit that like button and make sure that you are subscribed. Go ahead and stick around for Mo, and that like button is a great way of letting me know that you guys are enjoying the series and want to see more. Because I'm a man of the people, and if the people want Mo, the people are going to be getting more of that. And I'd love to hear about your Christmas and hopefully how it's been in that comment section down below. And if you don't happen to celebrate Christmas, well, hey, 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 I see a boot over there. I'm gonna be a little bit careful because I saw some wolves over here too. And the wolves are a little bit more deadly than a boat. And where did that wolf go to? Yeah, but a little bit of advice. If you guys have a bow and arrow, when in doubt, just run into the water. And as the wolves slowly chase you, especially if you have like the upgraded swimming, as the wolves slowly chase you, just doink them right in the head. Doink them in the face. They won't know what hit them. What type of bow? Oh! This raft over here is getting rather fancy, but a lot of this island, from my explorations, actually does appear to be claimed. Apparently my map doesn't want to show anything on the island. But here we have another one of those territories, and like I was saying, this island isn't massive, so I don't think we're going to settle down here. There's a huge island off in the distance. I think the goal is maybe use this island to kind of prepare ourselves for the perils that might yet come. So try to level up a little bit, get some of those upgraded tools. Woo! I hear noises. Oh, oh, that's a wolf. Oh, that's a wolf. Hello, wolf. How do you do, big boy? You want to come over here and attack me? I know you do. Oh, I know you do, baby. I know you do, too, baby. You're going to be dead in no time. Please don't make me the dead one first, though. Okay, okay, okay. Whoop. There we go. Glad we could agree on that. You're the dead one. See? All differences can be solved with a bow and some nicely placed arrows. <laughs> let's go and see what you got, and then let's see what we want to level up with this skill that we just so happened to acquire, but... Oh, 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 oh. Hello, wolf. Uh, come back here. Please come back. Come back. Come back. Baby, come back. You can blame it on me while I shoot you in the face with my bow and arrow G. Okay, he's like really running away. This is a giraffe taking a freaking swim out there. I can't hold that any longer. Uh, that wolf literally definition of a hit and run right there. What is that giraffe doing? Oh, he's being attacked by a wolf too. Oh, is this wolf coming for me? Oh, no, that giraffe is having none of that wolf shenanigans. I'm actually not going to shoot this shot, because I'm kind of worried for my life. If I anger that giraffe... Dude, is that giraffe actually swimming? I was about to say, if I anger that giraffe, that thing is not going to have any mercy on us. Okay, back into the water we go. Come after me, wolf. See how it goes for you. Nothing but death will follow suit. So, hopefully this video is a great show of the strength of swimming. And I don't know if you guys want to invest into it. If you are playing yourselves, I have two levels in the swimming perks, and I'm going to periodically check up this time because I don't have the health to survive another surprise wolf attack. But, uh, whatchamacallit? Being able to swim quickly? Okay, hold on. I saw some health over there. Or was that my boat? I don't know. I saw a green bar. Oh, that is the wolf. Dude, this giraffe is having none of it, man. This thing's like the Loch Ness Monster. Oh, my God. That wolf owes a tree fitty or something. <laughs> but uh, over here, we got a little bit more civilization. That seagull just, like, cast a spell on the ground or something. So I'm going to try to climb up into this. Someone's actually built up something pretty nice. Oh, dang. Hot dang, dude. Someone built up, like, this is legit. Oh, is that another wolf? No, that's a pig. Oh, it's a piggy. Did someone build this? Or actually, this may have already been here. Oh, what's that noise, man? Jesus, these seagulls make the noises of hell <laughs> it's a little bit horrifying uh i'm not seeing anything here though like there's no names on this i don't think this belongs to a person i think this might uh hello 
Just a little decorative. Hello, knock knock. Yeah. I have trade. I'm ready to trade. No? Well, okay. It's kind of cool, but I don't think this actually does anything. But alright, this nice elevated surface should be a good safe place for us to be able to apply this level up, regenerate some health, and continue our expedition of this island and find more discoveries to raise max XP. Oh no! I need to discover more stuff? Well then, we might need to sail before we learn anything else. That's not good. God dang it. Um, so in the meantime, I guess we could go up and help. Hopefully help ourselves out. Make sure nothing bad happens there. Uh, gives us access to crafting a number of advanced arrows. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. Advanced arrows sound really cool. That just helps us get better arrows. There's like steady aim over here. Which, isn't that like a... Draws per... Nah. I don't know what to do. So if we wanted to here, what we could do is actually get one skill point away from the seamanship unlock, which we just need the secrets of building to get, which, ooh, that'll give us access to some, a plethora of stuff we could build, but first we need weaving. So honestly, why don't we go with weaving for one of our points? The next time we level up, we should just be able to go directly to this thing over here. Yeah? Well, actually that just unlocks the secrets of buildings, or, that unlocks the seamanship discipline. Oh. So I'm guessing that we're actually going to need to unlock the next raft as an additional skill after that. So to kind of maximize our opportunity to do that, we will learn the secrets of building first. And then from here, we should be able to get the seamanship and then make our way over to uh, the actual skill tree and hopefully unlock that next type of raft and the ability to build it. I was hoping to maybe like upgrade our bow or get something cool for it. But honestly, dude, just having access to this bow has been a game changer. That little level up break has gotten us some HP and unfortunately, I mean, I did want to stick around here. I I don't think we're going to be able to do that because we got to go discover some more stuff if we want to level up. Yeah, so even if I wanted to, and trust me, I'd love to, this island, I mean, there's a couple of things going against it. It's been settled by a lot of people. I, I've seen like three different flags already, so just something we got to watch out for. Is that a wolf over there? I believe it is. Hello, Mr. Wolf, or Mrs. Wolf, I should say. Ah! Don't hurt me, don't hurt me, don't hurt me, don't hurt me! Yes, come into my lair. Dude, I feel like I call me Davy Jones. My name's Dave in real life, so, hey, Davy Jones, it's close enough, eh? Thank you for that, although, there's no point in killing these dang- Hold on, make sure it doesn't have any friends. Hello, Tuna. Were you this wolf's friend? Are you about to exact some revenge on me? I hope not, so, yeah. Uh, mm. Should we just sail to the next island, then? Because- Ah, we're gonna be like harvesting, we're gonna be collecting stuff. And you know... Ah, it's just gonna be a waste of potential EXP, I guess. That's like the thing I'm worried about. Because right now, we literally can't level up anymore. I say... Ah! Yeah, let's make our way over to that next island. But that next island! When you guys see this, you will be like, wow! That is a big boy island that I got in store for you guys. Just have our bow and arrow out, you never know what type of dangers... We're gonna run into on these lands. What is that? Oh, that's Alpha Piggy. Hello, Alpha Piggy. Hey, 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 don't mind me. I wonder if that thing slings poop too, man. I've The only Alpha I've encountered before, it was just throwing metric poop tons of, well, poop at me. So, Wantep was here, friendly, Wadu's son. Nice announcement. I don't know exactly what it's supposed to mean, but good to know that at least part of this territory appears to be friendly. This is a cool little area, actually, like a nice little Bay? I guess, never mind, this is more of an isolated island. But over here would be a cool little place to construct a mini shipyard. I don't think you could do anything too big. Due to the fact that, like, ships, the bigger the ship gets, the deeper it has to be able to go to on, like, the opposite side as well. Because, like, part of the boat is submerged. And for those bigger ships, a lot of the boat is submerged. So, I don't know. Hold on, I saw something shiny. Is this the rattlesnake I was thinking of? Also, I guess if we have a bow and arrow, we might actually be able to take down an alpha a little bit more reasonably. Is that an alpha chicken? Oh my god, it's an alpha chicken! Hello, chicken! How do you do? Do I, uh, do I dare attack this chicken? Mm. I don't want to blow through all these arrows, man. Like, I like these arrows, don't get me wrong. I don't just want to waste all of them. Attempting to attack an out. Dude, I don't know. We could get good. Okay. How about this? We use one arrow. See how much damage- Oh my god, I'm starving. Forgot about that. Small detail. Uh, see how much damage we could do. 
and take things from there. I'm also trying to balance my vitamins. So I don't want to eat too much of any one thing. We also got to start going fishing. That's another thing. That's how we get our vitamin D. Because usually I'm either dying from a vitamin surplus or a vitamin D deficiency. I'm really good at all the other vitamins. Deadly good, to be exact. But all that other stuff, that's a fat no from me, dog. Hopefully that bear doesn't wander too close to me. That thing still scares me. A little bit. Is that giraffe in a battle right now? Oh my god, that thing is... Oh my god! Things are going ham. What are you guys attacking? I don't know, but I'm, don't mind me. I'm just gonna attack these Chikon over here. Please don't bring anything my way. Hello, Chikon. Goodbye, Chikon. Yes, balk at me menacingly. You can't throw poop my way. Let's try to get a headshot here. Seven damage? I don't know. We could attempt to kill this chicken. We're not doing a lot of damage, but we're not doing no damage either. All right, you know what? This might be the first alpha that we take down. Okay, please step away from the bear, Mr. Chicken. I don't want to accidentally shoot him. I'm a little bit more horrified of him than the chicken actively running away from us. That dude is looking like a goddamn porcupine at this rate. Okay. Well, oh, he was just waiting for me to swap my stuff out. I see you. I see you. I was trying to equip these spears now that he was running. Oh, the chicken caught on. This alpha chicken. It is a noble steed, to say the least. Well, let me just go ahead and stab you a little bit there. Oh, beautiful. I'm actually right outside of its range. Look at that, man. This chicken is a total pushover. If there's any type of alpha for you to capitalize upon, let me just say, find yourself an alpha chicken. Because I guess we could see, like, you know, what the alpha chicken even drops. If he drops anything. So, I don't know, man. Oh, was that? Oh, that's just a bird. For some reason, I thought that was a wolf from one angle. That just, like, jumped down from the cliffs above. Alrighty then, I suppose. Let the punch in commence, alpha chicken. Oh, baby. I don't want to get pecked by it, though. I am a little bit scared of that. Oh! Hey, actually doesn't even do too much damage either. All right. I will engage in fisticuffs with you, Mr. Chicon. Goodbye. Okay, he's actually starting to do a worrying amount of damage, but see you later, Alpha Chicken. That will decompose. All right. I'm going to bring this body as my noble prize back to my raft so we could put it on display and show Hey Hey why he should behave and lay a lot of chicken eggs. And, I don't know, Hey Hey's a good companion, too. You gotta cut him some slack there. I like when he poops out the eggs, but I also like him as a chicken, too. Kind of a cool dude. Uh, alright, actually, I don't know. I don't want, I don't want to scare Hey Hey like that. That, and I don't want to lose this body in the currents of the water, either, so let's see what we acquire. If it's anything worthwhile. We probably would have got a lot of EXP from killing this thing, but... I mean, we kind of already maxed out our EXP. We're getting a ton of skin. I'm surprised there's no, like, prime animal meat, but I think it was loaded with stuff, at least. At some bright sides. Uh, but check it out. I think, actually, that rock over there might be a metal rock. Because when I was looking at it, it kind of had that yellow shine that, uh, metal rocks in Ark have. So I wonder if this, like, eh, now that I'm looking at it, it looks a bit normal, but I don't know. Oh, never mind. We found, oh, god dang it. We found a way to break our pickaxe. No! We actually just found a natural supply of oil. I did not know that those existed quite yet, but... I mean, I don't know. Oil's probably already always existed. It's... Oh, get out of your piggy. I don't want to attack you. For once, I'm letting you live. Please, enjoy. You have nothing you could give me. I can't farm you for EXP anymore. We must go our separate ways. Piggy, please, live your blessed life on the, this island. Because I haven't seen these two biggies move away from this island. For I have blessed you with the gift of not death. Because I don't know, man. If you guys have been keeping up at all, there's been a lot of dead pigs in our wake. <laughs> so, uh, scowabunga, dudes. Hope you have a good time. Because we are going after this island right over here. Let's open the sails. Hopefully not beat ourselves too hard. I'm a little bit concerned about that. Let's rotate a little bit. Because I think there's some shallow waters up in here. We're getting a little bit hungry, which we should be able to solve. Ooh, the waves up ahead are looking all cool and stuff too, but... Right up ahead, I think you guys. Are we going through a sandbar? Oh, I think we are. Something like that. That or a shark has latched onto us. I think we've beached. Oh, god dang it, man. That is exactly what's happened. Um, okay, maybe if we rotate a little bit more. Give us some more power to unbeach here. Oh, there we go. We just need the wind at our back and... Uh, we're unbeaching a little bit. This is not good, is it? Do I need to, like, get out and push? 
Okay. Well, uh... Well, our raft attempts... Oh, baby! We're free! We're free! We're free! Oh, do not hit that rock over there! I was not expecting this! There we go. Let's adjust our sails for that massive island. Sunset Island, we shall call it. Because it's right where the sun's setting. JK, Sunrise Island! Because it's right where the sun is rising, and we should have some food over here. Never mind, there's no food. I guess we used it all. Thought I might have some left over. I thought wrong. Uh, where's my god dang... There it is. Let's go and split you in half. Split you in half one more time. Toss you in there. Let's light the fire. And hopefully we'll have some food. And honestly, I'll cook up some chicken eggs here too. Okay, I can't cook up chicken eggs. Maybe one day. <laughs> I, guess, I think we might need to use like a cooking pot or something like that. That's probably it. But whoa, baby. These waters are getting a little bit rafty. A little bit bumpy. Can you please uh, cook up one of these meats? I'm getting hungry there, game. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tell me all about it. The delicious meats that you shall cook. But I suppose that's the game plan from here. We still have our bow and arrow that we could toss over there. A lot. Oh, hold on. Now I can put. Now I can put it where I want. Are you. Are you serious? Are you cereal right now, game? Huh? Huh? I don't know. Maybe it's because I don't have any other weapons in my. What? Whatever. I have a bow and arrow. I'm happy, but we are set and sail to this new, much bigger, and hopefully a lot more room for us to. How are you starving already? You literally just ate. Literally five seconds ago. I kid you not. How are you cold? There's a fire right here. My man. My man's is the pickiest man of 2018. 2019 even. 2019 hasn't even started yet. I calm down there. Slow your roll. Slow your horses. But well, we slowly approach Sunrise Isle. Hey! Hey! I was about to say, oh my god, three eggs! You mad chicken! I love you, hey hey. Hey, hey, you are bae. Uh, hold on, can I please pick up these eggs now? There we go. Oh my god, how many eggs did we just go up to? Jeez Louise, eight eggs! Oh my god, I think we went up to eight from like... I don't know, what were we at, like two? Dang, hey, hey, you is going ham to say the least, but let's go rotate this just a tad. I am trying to like side skirt this island a little bit, and also because if we go towards this end of the island, we're kind of going more in the direction of the wind, so we should be able to head there a little bit faster, too. And, guys, I was not kidding. This island is going to have a lot more for us to explore. Hopefully a lot more uh, of that thing. Resources for us to gather as well, too. And the big thing... God dang, it's starvation. Starvation isn't the big thing. The big thing is, is that we should pretty handily be able to get that metal that we need to bring the smitty and also the uh, loom to life because yeah that thing also requires metal so keratinoids apparently we have enough for that so that's good so yeah metal is just the thing we need and we'll be able to get a couple of workbenches we'll probably build them on our rafts just so we're a little bit mobile we're a little bit nomadic at the time being and uh woo our raft has another level up to level what four good stuff man we're working our way up towards getting a crew member and oh my god I'm skipping a couple frames here there while this is loading in this island. This is going to be a much more bountiful island, I feel like. So I'm just looking through here, man. This is a big boy. I wonder if that's like two islands, actually. Is that two? I can't tell because for some reason my map is uh, glitched. Gotta love when that happens. But I don't know, dude. This is just a very sizable land. Hopefully with area for us to actually stake a claim and have a place to call home. If not, I'm more than happy to continue exploring because after all, exploration does help us in our journey to continue gaining the levels. Is that a wolf I see already? Hold up. Hold up. Or is that a rock? That is... Uh, I don't know what that is. Is that a crocodile? No, I think that's a wolf. Dude, I think... That might be... Oh my god. Uh, game? What is this? Hello? Hello, Jess? My name is Jeff. Uh, what is that that I just saw? Because let me just say, I do not like that, not one bit. And oh, we might want to go and cut these sails really quickly. Fully close them all! Oh my god. Dude, that is a crocodile. Oh my god, an elephant's? Now we have befallen on a fun looking land. Okie dokie. 
The Northern Discovery Island. Nice. Can we start leveling up now? We can. Because we already missed out on a ton of EXP. A little bit salty about that, but oh, baby. I like these. Now, the question is, though, where are the metal nodes? That's the big thing that I'm looking for. And honestly, I might be looking for some more arrows. I, I do not think that we have enough to take this thing down. So, uh, what are we short on to craft more? Honestly, we just need to collect some fiber. Dude, oh my god, look at that thing. I feel like it's going to scuttle towards us. I Honestly, I don't want it to scuttle towards us. I'm a little bit scared of that at the moment. Oh my god, is that another one? Oh my god! The thing's massive! Oh no, 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 no. This is a very dangerous island we have come across. Is it going to attack the elephant? I'm down to see a battle. Don't tell me you two can coexist. Oh! I can't coexist! I can't coexist! No, 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 no. Okay, okay, I can't coexist. You start going that way. Um, oh, I'm going to shoot you in the ground. Collect you back. Yeah, if I could please, let's just get all the arrows that I humanly can right now. Yeah, just, 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 just craft those all. Okay, so there's an elephant attack and an alligator. I'm about to attack this thing too. I don't really have a lot of room to run though. And I'm kind of interested in some room to run. Uh, can I get the high ground? Come on. Anakin Skywalker taught me well. Let me get this high ground. I want to see who comes on top of that battle though. Dude, I don't know who's going to win. This juice looking alligator and that elephant. This island's scary. <laughs> uh, all right. I just want him to finish. He's attacking a turtle. Why are you attack? You're really bad at attacking that turtle, dude. Let me just say. And okay, he's not even as powerful as I thought he'd be, man. Little bit of a push over there. Come on. Come back and fight, you crocodile. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't be running. I already got him like down to half health. You're going to turn around? Fight show battles? I hope so. Oh, I think he's trying to go get a piece of that elephant. No, 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 no. Not allowed. Goodbye, Mr. Crocodile number one. And I kind of want to capitalize because we have this extra EXP for a little bit. Or are you going to start eating? Oh, I was about to say, you're going to start eating your own friend there? That would have been savage. Dude, I guess these crocodiles fear me. I've killed one of them and now I've become their king. I am your new emperor, the foul mortal. Fear me. Question is, how close is this elephant to dying? You know what? Oh, 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 oh. I heard a scary sounding noise like something was about to attack. That's where my panic set in from. Apologies. Uh, elephant, we cool, right? I just saved you. Ooh, prime animal meat. Okay, I might be a fan of these crocodiles because uh, as soon as we... I kind of want to level up some taming a little bit too. I don't want to accidentally hit this elephant either. That would be probably the worst thing we could humanly do right now. I'm still trying to settle down, figure out what's going on on this island and this elephant's over here. Well, trying to get himself killed by me so he could kill me. Because elephants are a peaceful people. But they're tricky. They have a code amongst their uh, elephantes. And that is that they will not attack unprovoked. So they just trick you into provoking them. And then they can attack the bejesus out of you. It's genius, man. Truly. God dang it. Of course I'm starving. I hope I don't start having this freaking protein deficiency or surplus from eating too much meat. God dang it. What do we need to repair this? Gotta get some fibers. Okie dokie, I could do that. Let's get us some hemp. And one more. There we go. Collect that. Harvest you. Continue looking around a little bit. I we gotta look for those metal nodes, man. I know that just breaking them down could get us some stuff. Like just breaking down random rock nodes. But at the same time, I don't know. I just hate that we have all this prime animal meat that we can't use to tame something right now. That'd be freaking dope. All right, though. Uh, let's try and see if maybe we could find metal out of any of these rocks. Because I think if you look long enough, like, they should drop metal. I don't know if there's, like, a certain stone you got to break. I just know that the metal I've gotten so far has just been from random things. And the thing is, too, we got to get a huge amount of stone anyways. So it's a little bit of a double whammy. Or it might as well be profitable for us to break into this stuff. Although it's not being profitable in the metal way. A little bit unfortunate there, but... So be it, I guess. So be it. We might need to look for... I don't know. I don't know what type of rock we gotta look for. Because, like, each island seems like it has different rocks and stuff, too. But, uh... I don't know. This island seems, like, relatively uninhabited. Wish I had a working map so I could see what's going on. But 
Jesus, how are you starving? I guess it's because you are cold, but still. You are so picky, my dude. Come on, you're a pirate. Arg! Oh, hello. Don't trample me, please. You're a pirate. Get with the times. Survive a little hardship. A little hypothermia. Never killed nobody. Except a lot of people in history. But besides that, hasn't killed nobody. Like, come on. Just misunderstood. Just needs a chance is all. Uh, are these the same rocks we've been hitting this entire time? Yep. Radiola, right? Okay, we got cobalt. Does that count as a metal? I, I don't know. Or is that just like an entirely different thing? That does something entirely different. Because I know some, like, some items... Oh, what up, Rattlesnake? Okay, really? Really, my dude? Come on. I've unlocked the power of bow and arrow. I'm not worried about you. Come on, dude. That's right in your face. Get out of here with that cabbage. Jeez, Louise. Yeah, though. Does that count? Did our metal count go up? Because I know some items, like, count as the same category. So I wonder if metal might actually count as a similar category. Okay, so cobalt is a metal... So to get that metal, and honestly, once we get that smitty and we could build some better tools, it should be a lot easier for us to kind of like build out and expand from there as well. So I think the game plan is to hit a lot of rocks. That's about all that I got in store until we could get enough cobalt. I mean, I think we should easily be able to get enough stone because we should probably get enough stone first before we get all that flint and whatnot. But after that, it's just gonna be open season. Oh, hello, hello. I like killing you people, alligators. I get a lot of EXP for it. Where are you going to? Come on. Come out of the water. Come out and play. I wanna play some games. Well, okay, maybe I don't wanna get too close to the shore here. I'll, yeah, I'll play games if he wants to come out and play. I'm not gonna go out and seek him. I feel like that's rule number one of dealing with alligators. Don't go into the water. That's their element, dude. I'm a land creature. Oh, baby, I saw him surface a little bit. Yeah, that dude is wicked fast, and also he's chasing his own tail in the water. He is wicked fast in the water, though. We gotta be a little bit more... God dang it. Careful around that. But yeah, I think just for now, I'm just gonna continue doing my own thing. Try to get this metal. Try not to die. I'm kind of worried that one of these random alligators might attack us on our boat. Oh, there we go. We got that cobalt. So as you guys are seeing, like, the rate that we're getting this cobalt, we ain't no speed racer or anything like that, so... Eh, it's probably gonna be the next episode where we do get the smitty and have access to that But at least we're already like halfway up to this. Mm. I kind of want to use the rest of this exp boost though. I'm not gonna lie Yeah, yolo. God dang it. Let's just try and aggro this guy. I think he's chasing that bird overhead I hope I have enough arrows. Hello, mr. Alligator. It is me your new body. Oh, come on Where are you going off to? Can I get a shot off on him? Oh, come on. Oh, there we go There we go right over here big boy right over here. Oh, that's level 22. You get a lot of EXP for this gator. Just make sure to go a little bit inland, because, yeah, let the chase begin. Oh, this is what I live for, lads. Steve Irwin here. God dang, I actually do. I forgot I do an Australian. Australian accent. All that I know is that I know how to do a stone arrow accent. Right into your face. Oh, and now you're running. Are you? Okay, well, do I have those spears or more? Oh, that elephant is having none of it. Oh, alligator, you have made a grave mistake. You're being mugged by elephants. That's probably the last thing you want to be mugged by, my dude. I'm just gonna go and punch him. You know, I I, I want to get this kill. I want to get this exp. Hello, alligator. You're not you're not escaping me that easy. Oh my god, you're trying to escape me that easy. Whoop 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 whoop! Come on, die die at my hands. Beautiful. Elephants, we cool? We cool? Yeah, we cool. We cool. We cool. Okay, yeah, we almost have an entire another level already. This has been a good life. Let's hope that they continue letting us live here. Because we are getting some nice stuff out of these guys. Yeah, man. We're getting scales. Or scales count as? I don't know. I don't know what that noise was. Did the elephants just stampede something else? Dude, I have... I, I am not going to mess with those things ever. Are they fighting each other? What is going on? That dude is bleeding. No, like, actually, what are they attacking? Did that guy go insane? Does he have rabies? Oh, my God. What? Oh, oh, there's a lion. Okay. I've I've dealt with my fair share of lions. Don't mind me. I'm retracting back to my hole. I've used all this EXP boost that I need to use. Let me just collect my materials and get the hell out of Dodge. And with that said and with that done, 
that's gonna start bringing an end to this episode of atlas pirate survival I hope that you guys did enjoy if you did make sure to like button make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell to stay up to date with this and many other dope survival games that we are checking out on the channel as well not to mention hopefully y'all had a very merry christmas and a fan freaking fantastic day but that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for me for now thank you guys a whole ton for watching have yourselves an awesome one i'll talk to the next one see ya